guys! So, my last few days in Bangkok, I kind of just did a few random things. I was kind of just hanging out with some friends that I had made and doing work and stuff. So I just thought I would make a little compilation video of some of the highlights. Uh, slash the things that I filmed. <laughs> okay, so first of all, since I love Pad Thai, I feel like when I come to Thailand, I go on full Pad Thai addiction mode. Uh, so here's a little shot of getting some from the street. This one in particular actually wasn't that good, but I don't know. It was still good enough. It only cost a dollar, so can't really complain. <laughs> It's still just fun kind of like watching them make it and stuff. Like flavor. So the place that I was staying these past few days, it was close to a lot of shopping. So we were close to this big shopping mall called uh, Terminal 21. And on the top floor is a food court called Pier 21 that has like all these different food stations and you get a card and you put money on the card and then you can use it wherever. And it's really good street food prices, so really cheap, like the plates of food were less than a dollar. So what was funny was that it's San Francisco themed and so it's like a taste of home. And at first I thought that was weird, but then I noticed that the whole mall was, every different part of the mall was a different international city, so it made sense, but it was kind of cool. And so the place that I was staying uh, these past few days was pretty nice. It was this hostel and some other people that I met from the TBEX conference were staying there as well. So it was nice to reconnect with them. And I got to stay in this little like pod capsule thing. And that was, I liked it a lot. It felt really cozy and it felt like more privacy than a traditional hostel bed. Uh, so that was nice. My little pod. <laughs> and we kind of just hung out and had some beers and yeah, it was fun. Then my last night in Bangkok, I went to this restaurant with a couple of friends called Cabbages and Condoms. Yeah, you heard me right. <laughs> it's a socially responsible restaurant that donates money for AIDS, HIV awareness, and sex education um, in Bangkok. So it's really good cause, and they have all this crazy like artwork and stuff made out of condoms, which is kind of crazy, and there was a lot of different things to look at and the whole atmosphere was really nice, this big like outdoor patio with all these lights. Okay, so the name Cabbages and Condoms comes from the founder thought that condoms should be as wildly available as cabbages or as any kind of local produce. So that's why it's called that and it's all about uh, just promoting education and availability of these uh, resources. Yeah. This is Jane, she has a blog. Scarlett Jones Travel. Yeah, check it out. And this is Matthias. Hi, I'm Matthias from Germany. He also has a blog. Well, it comes just in German. <laughs> and <laughs> no, Laura. You're like a regular by like now. <laughs> yeah, we got our food. I got pets to you. What did you think of the restaurant? Well, it has a nice atmosphere at least. Okay, Jane. <laughs> I loved it. The food is great. Uh, she yeah. just got here. <laughs> Andrea. I loved it. Great food and a great initiative. A good company. Good company. Yeah. It was really good. We just had a good conversation about um, parts of the world and where we all come from and languages and everything and traveling. <laughs> good stuff. And then I left and went to Cambodia. So more videos on that soon. If you follow me on social media, then you know I'm already in Cambodia. But uh, I'm behind on video, so I'm working to catch up. <laughs> Anyways, hope you're all doing well. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me and follow me on all the social medias if you want more up-to-date info on what I'm doing and see where I am. And thanks so much. Happy travels. Bye. The city is just right over there, but it feels like I'm somewhere completely different. And it's so nice. Oh my gosh. And these bats. <laughs>